Are vampire appliances sucking your cash? How 23% of your electricity bill may come from devices you aren't using. Vampire devices suck power even when you think they're switched off. They can collectively add hundreds of pounds to your annual electricity bill. British Gas estimates up to 23% of electrical usage could be vampire energy. Phone chargers draw energy constantly even if they're not charging a phone. A printer left permanently on standby uses about 10 pounds of electricity a year. And a skybox can use up to 30 watts an hour which equates to around 73 pounds per year. There are parasites hiding in our living rooms, bedrooms, kitchens and studies. Creatures that constantly, 24 hours a day, suck money out of our bank accounts. As they wreck most of their damage at night, draining power when left on, even when not in use. These electrical appliances are called vampire devices. Overall, they are costing Britain billions of pounds a year in wasted electricity. This is needlessly adding to the shocking rise in the cost of living. There are vampires everywhere. The electrical appliances, chargers and lights all over your home. Devices that suck power from the mains, constantly, even when you think they are switched off. Individually, they don't cost much, but collectively and over time, they can add hundreds of pounds to your annual electricity bill. A recent study by British Gas, the UK's largest supplier of electricity, estimated that as much as 23% of our electrical usage could be down to vampire energy. This comes at a time when the cap on energy prices imposed by the regulator Ofgem will rise by 54% from £1,277 a year for the average user to £1,971. The electrical element of that will increase from an average of £548.10 to £580. And with the war in Ukraine seeming endless and another price cap rise in October, average household annual electricity bills could surge past the £800 mark. If that happens, vampire devices could amount to as much as £200 a year for the average household. Phone charger plugs draw energy constantly, even if they're not charging your phone. They have a transformer inside that uses tiny amounts of power all the time they are plugged in. TVs use power constantly and they're switched off at the mains, automatically remembering what channel you were last watching. Depending on size, a TV on standby will use around 4 watts an hour. That equates to around £10 a year, or a lot more in a house with multiple TVs. The timers and displays on microwaves, alarm clocks, ovens, thermostats, stereos, Wi-Fi routers, skyboxes, dishwashers and washing machines all use electricity when on standby. Last year, British Gas put the national cost of vampire electricity at £2.2 billion. When next month's price rise is factored in, that will rise to an estimated £3.3 billion. The main culprits are TVs and game consoles on standby, and laptops and phones left on charge, says a smart energy expert at British Gas. Our research last year, before the off-gen price cap rises, showed that households could save an average of £110 on electricity bills by switching these items off at the mains. Across the country, people are unnecessarily overcharging their mobile phones and laptops. The charger will still pull power from the mains even if the phone or laptop is fully charged. As soon as your device is fully charged, get into the habit of unplugging it. Not only will this save energy, it also prolongs battery life. It could also save you about £60 a year on your energy bills. Here are the top tips for saving a small fortune. Make sure when you turn your television off, you do it at the wall. The standby light uses a small amount of energy and is using energy while being primed to receive a signal from the remote if needed to power on. New TVs use less energy on standby than in older models. The same goes for the dishwasher or washing machine. If a light is on, a small amount of energy is still being used. New energy efficient models have settings which turn the unit off after a washing cycle. Add all electronics, that's computers, gaming consoles, skyboxes and TVs to an extension lead and switch the whole thing off at night. This saves the effort of turning them off individually. A smart meter's in-home display can help identify how much energy is used at different times of the day. And timing is everything. Don't leave chargers plugged into your device once they're fully charged. Other items that can also be overcharged are electric toothbrushes and cordless vacuum cleaners. I hope you found this video helpful. Please give this video a like, share it with anyone else you think might benefit from it. And if you haven't done so already, a subscription would be great. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.